what's up everybody thank you so much again for still crushing the like button way over 500 i think we're at 800 i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i just want to say guys thank you thank you thank you very much and a special thank you to all of my gym stars what's up everybody it's your girl Bree easy aka fresh from the salon well not so fresh today but we're gonna get there bka the people's champ ed and today i am bringing to you two of the gorgeous women i've ever seen first we have zoe sadana i think that's how we pronounce the last name and we have zoe Travis. both of these women are just to me are just like absolutely stunning you got zoe I, I, it's something about i don't know it's just something about her the look that she gives you like she kind of act like she ain't with the the bs or whatever so you know if you was trying to holler at her you definitely have to bring your a game and then we have zoe kravis i mean she's just just like a mom lisa lisa bonet yeah i think that's how you say her name lisa bonet and she has a very sultry look to me i like that i like that so you guys tell me who are you with are you with zoe sedana or are you with zoe kravis and even though they both are kind of built six o'clock but their faces alone is just it's just absolutely stunning so let me know who you with keep crushing the like button and hopefully i will see you again tomorrow peace I got my seat man i ain't taking over taking over the show they gonna they gonna want you to take over the show and then I ain't gonna be able to really do nothing, man. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, look, man. It is, what day is this, man? It's a, it's a, it's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday! Oh, my God, would you stop it? Now, I did promise you guys if we got over 800 likes that we would, we would let Bree Easy take over. But my boy, Big Boy IQ, he put the, he, hey, his cat... He, he put his cat there, man. Like, hey, look, cat, he said, he said, even my cat knows that they be capping. And when you doggone right, they be capping. Hey, man, look, man, we got a lot to talk about today, a little bit of time to talk about it. We're we going to try to take, keep this video under 12 minutes, and uh, we're going to go from there. I say that every day, and it never happens. So let's just get right into it. All right. As usual, people are not receiving their rep rewards, man. Basketball guys was over the weekend, and... Um, and, and a couple of people, here we go. IQ contained, he says, I contacted 2K support five times now about, I mean, about not receiving my rep rewards for basketball guys. And I have, and I have even been threatened that my account will be banned slash suspended if I keep asking. I won the event and this bug needs to be dealt with. Now that's something, look, we're gonna, we're gonna show this right here, man. Hey, look, that was, that was, that was the time. 14 game winning streak, he won. And it says he won. And then look, look at this right here. It shows that it shows that you are not eligible to receive the reward. I'm sorry, but at the moment I won't be able to assist further with this issue. And then it says it, it's, it has officially been 24 hour time. Blah blah blah. Uh, hi there again. I've already informed you of the topic. Please refrain from opening up a new chat uh, for this topic, or it will lead to your to a ban slash suspension of your account. Um. Hold on, we gonna we, 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 we gonna wait for a second now. And then Power DF says I contacted 2K support about not getting my event reward, and they said I didn't even play in the event when it finished. When I finished first, LMFAO. And look, Power DF, Yo Abib, and Pool TV. I mean, obviously had the longest streak. Why is the streak on um, Xbox way longer than the streak on, on PlayStation, though, I guess? I mean, was that PlayStation? Let's see if the other one was PlayStation. Uh, let's back up. Boom, boom. No, it was on Xbox. I get what... I don't understand how basketball guys goes. Is it during a time period or what have you? So how do they both... Uh, uh, East and West servers. Okay. Anyway, man, look here. We know that people haven't gotten their rep rewards all year. We know that people have always... Oh, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and keep on coming back. But we know people haven't been getting their rep rewards all year. We know that this has been a constant issue with 2K. I won... Um what was it, King of the Court or something like that last year? You know where you have to play all the all the th and I didn't get my money. We hit a buzzer beater right when the time went out. We played the last game. I hit a three. Boom, we won. It it put up there that 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 we won. And me and Man Man Grindhard and Paul, we didn't get our we didn't get our rep rewards. We didn't get our rewards uh for the events. This is something that 2K really needs to get fixed. But 
my biggest problem with this whole thing is it's one thing to not give somebody the reward and then to eventually give it to them or what have you. It's another thing to threaten somebody with being banned or suspended if they continue asking. Look here, my man. If you owe me money, I reserve the right to ask about my damn money anytime I get ready. You can't get, I might get tired of me asking about my money, but you can't get tired of me asking about my money. You understand what I'm saying? I should be able to ask about that anytime I get ready. So if I loan you $100 and, and you know, you, you, we, you know, how, you know the type of people like, like my dad, if I borrow $100 from my dad, I ain't never got to worry about him saying nothing ever. He's just going to say, now he going to give you the look every time he see you, but he'll, he'll tell me if I, if I needed that, that $100 that I gave you, I wouldn't have gave it to you. So just give it back to me whenever I can. Some people are like that. I'm like that, but I know I got some homeboys. You, they, they, hey, look, man, you go to the, you go to the corner store and they buy you a quarter water and guess what? They need that quarter back, man. Like King Petty. Like, have y'all ever seen that big Josh skit where the dude say, I need my 75 cents back? He's like, here, man, I'm just going to give you the dollar. He's like, nah, nah, we're going to go down to the corner store and we're going to break that. And then you give me my 75 and you keep your quarter. I'm good. Like that, like some people like that. And if they gave me the money, they reserve the right to ask for their money anytime they get ready. This is a bad look by 2K, man. How are you going to threaten somebody with suspension when it's a bug in your damn game that caused it? It is your game, and this ain't the first time. I can see if this was the first time that this happened, but this happens every single event damn near. 2K, y'all got to do better, man, because this is the worst look in the world to literally threaten somebody. With suspension, like, if this, is this the script that you got to have those people reading? If they don't have access to to check the stuff the right way to see if they are, if you know, whether you or not you won the event and the person has provided this proof, why is it so hard for you to just check their account, see if they really won the event? Like, I mean, look, this doesn't look to be doctored. This, it, look, I, hey, look, look, if you can figure out if something is doctored, because most people don't know about this. Look, zoom in. I don't. I didn't see no pixelation. I don't see no pixelation or none of that stuff right there, man. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can zoom in and see. I, I don't see any pixelation or anything like that, bro. He he he's not cheating. Or oh, well, I ain't gonna say. Look, if they want to say that we need to investigate because somebody's cheating or something like that, that's one thing. But the picture is not doctored. And it's been way too many times that people have not gotten this stuff, but to threaten somebody with suspension or what have you, maybe we should threaten you with some, 2K. Like, y'all got to stop this, man. This is too much stuff. This is just too many times that things like this happen, and there's no accountability. That's why That's why, That's why. why these things happen, because there's no accountability, and there, 2K has no competition, no accountability, and nobody really cares. Like, they're like, I, do they really think that we just don't know what to do in situations like this? Because I'm telling you, bro, between, it's just like All City Talk said yesterday, between changing the game to make people's characters uh, obsolete, between changing the game from what it was in the beginning, between changing the game to where it damn near forces you to spend more money on a second character if you didn't take the time to, to look at things, bro, I'm telling you, it, it could be real bad for 2K if somebody were to say, hey, man, we're going to, like all the shady practices that they have, and we still play the game. People are like, well, why y'all play the game? We play the game because there's no other basketball game on the market. What you want us to play that all-star basketball game off Steam or something? Bro, ain't nobody playing that crap. That joint is trash. At least 2K is a playable basketball game, and it has some semblance of basketball, and it's really good when it's really good. It's good when it's good, but when it's bad, it's unplayable. When you're lagging, when when it's kicking you out, when you're blue screening and stuff, those are the things that I'm really worried about. Stuff like this can be resolved. It can be resolved in the blink of an eye, but to threaten somebody with banning them or suspending them because they're asking about their money, that's a bad look, 2K. You should never even allow that script to come across. Just say, hey, look, I know it's been 24 hours, but I, I don't have the technical wherewithal to figure out you know, what exactly is going on. We're gonna get back with you at ASAP. Please be patient. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for purchasing the game and, you know, Godspeed to you, whatever. They should do something like that. Not threaten somebody if you keep asking. Man, if you keep asking about your money, then we're going to have to throw these hands. What? And, and, and I know I know some dudes out there like that, man. If you, if you, if you, oh, you gave me the money, man. You should keep that. Well, you a sucker then if you, if you feel like that. 
shoot, I ain't gonna lie to you. If I give you something, then you wanna get mad when I ask you about it, my guy. Like, are you serious? But hey, it is what it is to each his own. Anyway, we gonna move right along, man. Look, the Google Stadia is out. Uh, my guy, Brian Mazik. Y'all don't know, man. I've been talking to Brian Mazik for about 10 years, probably, since we started this YouTube thing together on Machinima Sports. My guy, Brian Mazik, a.k.a. Unique Mazik. Um, some of the best videos that you would ever see, too, back then. But the Google Stadia release date, sports games finally added to the launch titles. And, uh, you know, he, he just talks about some of the, the sports fans were likely were likely looking for their motivation to buy the Google Stadia console after looking at the uh, initial initial list of launch titles and seeing none of the popular franchises uh from the, from the genre all right thankfully a revisited a revisited list was released per uh per game award jeff what is that jeff knightley jeff kayla i don't know what he, what he say anyway we got a whole thing right here and this is these are the release titles man um and as you can see what football manager 2020 somebody plays that game anyway assassin's creed odyssey attack on titan Ooh, i might have to play that destiny 2 obviously is on there farming simulator yeah that's what this game probably gonna be um uh, or is that my career farming simulator uh final fantasy uh what's that final fantasy 10 plus 5 15 uh grid we already said football manager guilt just dance kind metro exodus mortal kombat 11 2k20 i don't know how they're gonna do that rage 2 and rise of the tomb raider now let me tell y'all something man i want y'all to hear something from somebody who actually has reviewed the google stadia and i'm gonna tell you why it's a no for me dog because a lot of times we take things at face value but what this person here said is uh is is this this is why it's gonna be a no for me, dog. I'm just gonna let you know right now. I wouldn't play any of these games competitively on Stadia, but it's fine enough for a relaxing evening. Hey, that's it right there, my guy. <laughs> that, that's it. I don't need to hear nothing else. You can't see, okay, so this this was uh, from somebody at, uh, this was a, a review from somebody at, uh, from, uh, what were they at, uh, Gadget. And she reviewed the whole stadia and she talked about the entire thing and th and that right there says she what she's saying is the stadia for those that don't know the stadia is a completely online console you don't download games you don't do anything you're straight streaming games everybody knows uh they said you can actually even use if you're playing on your on your um if you're playing on your tv you can't use it if you're playing with your phone or if you're playing on your pc you can use any controller but that's fine but you're supposed to be able to stream it in 4k and all that good stuff man look i don't th i think we are very long way from streaming consoles just because no matter if they get okay so when you stream when you got a streaming console right you're effectively seeing what another system is playing and we know how awkward that is when you're streaming your game from your playstation in your same house my god how are they going to fix this to where you can pretty much stream your PlayStation from anywhere? Which I think you can already do that in some regards, but I mean, come on, man. The input lag and all that stuff, it's, it's not, it, you have to, it's showing me a picture. I'm reacting to that picture. It sends the signal to tell the picture that I've moved, and then it sends that picture back to me. Like, bro, that's, that's way too much uh, lag. I mean, it's way more than this one millisecond lag monitor that I got, man. Look. Not gonna do it. I, I I can't see online gaming ever really being viable. I mean, because we can't, you can't pass the speed of light. So it just is what it is. There's always gonna be lag time. I I, I can't do it, man. But anyway, somebody on on uh, Reddit was like, I'm on the Stadia Park. I'm on the Stadia at the park and it's dead. Where you guys at, bro? Come on, man. man, come on, man. Ain't nobody got that Stadia, man. I don't even know how much the Stadia costs. I think it costs way too much. Let's see, Google Stadia price. Man, you probably the only one out there. Let me see the Google Stadia prices. Let's see how much it costs, man. I got no idea how much it costs. They said it actually costs, some people said it, okay, uh, the founders pack, they say a buck 29. I mean, I guess that ain't that bad, but I just don't really know if that's the real price. But for no, really no hardware and you're straight streaming, a lot of people are not gonna have enough, a, a lot of people are not gonna have enough um, bandwidth to support it. I got a thousand up and a thousand down, so I got a gig pipe. 
but still as we always say the the limiting factor is going to be their servers and what their servers do we'll see if y'all want me to get a google stated if it really is 129 let me know how much it is down in the comments i think it's 129 y'all want me to try to find one in the area and try to get one and, and play that joint to see how 2k is how bad 2k is on there i'll do it but y'all got to watch the damn video anyway uh last but not least we got a different segment uh, we got Breezy in the background holding the chat down. Like I said, I couldn't get her picture up there because I couldn't get that camera, but we'll get that done. She's going to ask some questions, uh, questions from the comments, and uh, we're going to answer them as the best that we can. So uh, let's get it, Breezy. All right. Sir Uno says, while I completely respect your opinion, there isn't any dribble, screen, dribble scheme in the game that can't be strapped up. The sad part is you have to have a defense build to strap. Hashtag Mamba out. Um, there's no, there's no dribble what in the game that can't be strapped up? Scheme. No dribbles. There's no dribble scheme in the game that can't be strapped up. Yes. But you got to have a defensive build to do it. Yes. If somebody's, if somebody is uh dribble glitching, you can't even interact with them. You can't put your forearm on them. You can't do anything. You can't bump them. You can't ride them. You can't, if, if they're dribble glitching, you can't even interact with them. So that's why the dribble glitch is, is broken like that. Like, um, I understand what you're trying to say that. That, that you know, and you don't have to have a defensive bill to play defense. T. Mills will play better defense than me. I got a defensive bill. He don't. And uh, the defense is really about your badges. I had the wrong badges on, so maybe I can play better defense than him now. But defense on this game is just really anticipating the person and all that good stuff. But, yeah, that's – that's I understand what you're trying to say, but, but uh, yeah, you can't – you you can't even interact with a person if they're dribble glitching. And that's just from last year. And I know because I did it. But I'll uh, continue. Okay. Smoking Loud 127 says, I ain't buying 2K next year. We should all not buy it and make them suffer for their first month sales for them making us suffer this whole year of playing 2K20. If we could all come together like we did on Twitter, Twitter for hashtag fix 2K20, 2K20 pockets get hurt and then they're forced to make the game better. We got to do something. We can't keep letting NBA 2K finesse us with the same game every year with glitches and the same clothes, tattoos, and shoes. It is the same thing every year, but the problem is we love basketball. I would love to boycott the game, but I'm a content creator, so number one, I can't really boycott the game because I have to put out the content. Number two, and this is more important, there's no other basketball game. I already mentioned this. There's no other basketball game out of the. That's why it's so important for live to be good it's so important for live to be good because we need competition we need somebody to come and knock these motherfuckers out the box so we can get a good basketball game maybe they should just com combine with live art team they already got mike wong from live why don't they just take the whole live art team and make the art and the parks and everything be good the servers and all that be awesome like live has and combine it with good gameplay and then bounce stuff off each other. You have the best basketball game of all time if they did that. But just like my boy All City says, somebody got to knock these knock these jokers out the box, man. We need competition. But right now, Live hadn't been able to get themselves together, so we're not going to get the competition that we need. Sorry I'm talking passionately about this. I like this segment. Continue. Rudy Rude say, it's not that hard to not let over 75s in. I remember that event that only let high reps in. I tried to get in as a lower rep, and I couldn't. So what's so different here? Yeah, it's nothing different. They just lazy programming. I'm just going to tell you that, plain and simple. I've done programming. I used to. I told y'all that I used to program in front of my uh, in front of my teacher, Dr. Sri Skandaraja, one of the best teachers I've ever had. He told me I was lazy as hell, and he was right. He was like, hey, you just like me. You're very smart, but you just don't want to do nothing. You was right, Doc. But uh, anyway, the whole thing is with that, it's not hard to do to, to, to do limiting factors. All you have to do is just tell the program, tell the thing, look at each person's, um, look at each person's overall, and if it exceeds this, then deny them entry, and nothing happens. You just put a, it's just, just a simple if-then statement. That's what I feel like it is. If a person in the squad's overall exceeds 70 or 75, whatever it is, then do not let them in. I don't understand how you can finesse that. But it seems like it's built into the game. Like people said, glitches are already built into the game. So it is what it is. Maybe they wanted people to do that. But instead of punishing people for your shoddy code, you should just limit them and just, just not let people do it. But uh, continue. Man Cave Promo says, what up, Jay? So that's that dribble glitch, huh? Appreciate it. Why 2K don't have a boost for perimeter slash interior defense then? Uh, they're not going to do that, man, because they want to feel like if you didn't put defense in your bill, then you're not going to be able to really play defense. Um, 
And as a counter to that, there is no counter for the dribble glitch because no matter what you do, they, they have to take it out of the game. And they will have to just make it so you can't, if you're holding L2, then the only thing you do is go into in, into the uh, protect the ball mode instead of being in protect the ball mode while dribbling. But if, you, if they do that, then then um, it's probably gonna change the, all of the inputs and all of that. So instead of actually taking it out, they just hid it behind a lot of stuff. But um, we'll see, we'll see what they can do, but they can't boost perimeter defense or, or uh, interior defense anymore because it wouldn't impact the dribble glitch. It, it wouldn't do a thing at all. You can't steal the ball because they're in protect ball mode. So uh, last year when you were in protect the ball mode, you uh, what? okay, so when you in protect the ball mode last year, it did the same things as unpluckable did, right? So. You were dribbling the ball, somebody would reach you in protect the ball mode, he would dribble over here, dribble over there. But now you're doing you're you're doing that without doing that. So unpluckable did that, but now when you're dribble glitching, you're he's doing it, but you just can't see it visually. So no matter what you're doing, you can't take the ball. So it, it, boosting defense wouldn't help. Okay. 647 says, I feel you, but at some point we have to blame the community. 2K puts enough dribble moves in the game for there to be hundreds of unique combinations. The community finds the cheesiest one and runs with that. The majority of the people don't want to be different. They just want the easiest path to victory. That is absolutely correct. Um, the, the path of least resistance is the most taken by anyone, uh, by, by most people. Uh, people just want the easiest moves and the easiest dribble moves and whatever it is. That's why we go on YouTube, find out what the best SIGs are. We don't want to be unique. We don't want to be... Um, we don't want to have to think. We just want to be effective and feel like we're better than the next person because we're doing a move. We're spamming a move that can't be guarded or that can't be defended. The only way to to stop the whip it behind the back is to anticipate and get in front of people. And uh, if you can't do that, uh, then when they introduce screens to that, then it's, it's damn near impossible. But you know, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. We're going to get better. But uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. We just want the cheesiest jump shot, the cheesiest dribble moves and all that. We don't want what makes us look unique. We want what works every time. It just is what it is. AJ the dog says, OMG, I freaking knew it. I know I have above average defense. And when I play against people who want to dribble all day, I go for the steal, but can't touch them. You'll never- Try and foul won't happen. 2K19 as well. You can't foul somebody. And that's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. You cannot foul somebody that's dribble glitching. You can't touch them. You can't foul them. You can't do anything. You can't body them. You can't bump them. You can't ride them. You can't interact with them at all when they're dribble glitching. You can reach all you want. You'll never get a foul. They'll never lose the ball and any of that stuff. So that's why it's so important for them to get it out of the game because if they don't, then it, it can really ruin it, especially combine time. Why would they put it in? Why would they put this out there at combine time? That doesn't make any sense. Slim Skinny says, I don't know if I'm tripping or what, but I'm witnessing a lot of PGs with one defensive badge playing incredible defense. 2K really need to punish these builds. I played the 95 overall only badge was clamps on bronze, and he was making a SF slasher miss in the paint. 2K, please stop catering to the PG offensive threats with no they gotta, defense. They have to do that, man. We, Me and T-Mizzle talk about that all the time, but if you play an offensive threat the right way, he's no and he's got one badge, they'll be able to steal the ball from you and stuff like that in situations. But other than that, they're not going to be able to do anything to you. You can go to the rim on them and just straight dunk on them. You might just have to change the timing or something like that, try a different layup. You can just shoot right in their face. They can't do anything to you. So uh, they do cater to those bills if stealing the ball is your problem. But other than that, uh, you can just kill an offensive threat. It ain't no big deal. Runway TV says, Jay, have you heard of anyone going into the rec part of pro -Am and winning the game, having a good teammate grade in their overall steal drops? I yeah. mean, games with 22 points, six assists, six steals, and overall dropping after a win? Yeah, it happens to me all the time. You have to do the things that are related to your takeover. If you get your takeover, generally your grade won't drop. But uh, a lot of times I play with Man Man Grindhard. I done had 30 points, five assists, two rebounds, and a couple of steals. And uh, because, uh, or let's say 15, 20 points, something like that. If you don't score like over 30 or, or you don't get like three or four steals or something like that with my bill, then um, it'll, it'll, you, your overall is going to go down. You have to do the things that, that really are going to get your takeover. David Harris says, 
The game is already ruined. I remember playing with and against all guards and forwards. You need a squad. I'm tired of looking at the little old threats and play shot PGs with glass lock lineup. First year, my strictly random record is below 500. I achieved my money's worth. Took my shirt off. I'm about done with 2K20. I hope 2K21 is a better game. I hope it's a better game too, man. You can't really play this game. We always talk about this. Raising with randoms is not a thing anymore right now because it's nearly impossible to play with randoms. Okay, last one. Jamar Sloss. Players from the NBA 2K, Call of Duty, and other games are nowhere near good as it seems. The skill-based matchmaking already exposed Call of Duty's players who people thought were elite players. 2K is extremely easy with a full squad playing against teams full of bum randoms, so these 70% win percentages that YouTubers show are not impressive to me at all. And all I see is 99% of YouTubers do is hide and shoot behind screens. Facts. I've been playing with trash sellout randoms against cheated squads since day one in NBA 2K17. So I had to build elite skill to carry four teams on my back in three versus three and five versus five while running in search of every play. Most games I shot 100% or only missed a shot or two at the max. But every year 2K says my field goal is... My field goal percentage is 70% plus, and most of the time, I'm being double and triple team. So, as elite, I am the only one. Oh, goodness. As elite, I am one day, I might create a YouTube channel and really expose a lot of the YouTubers who claim they are the greatest. Also, while playing with randoms, my part work is also around percent, around 70%, and that's while getting sold out. And have to All right, so look, you're going to play, you gonna have to play with a team, man. It don't matter how good you are. If they can just double you and triple you, it's not going to matter. The video already too long, so I'm sorry I had to cut that short. But, yeah, you're playing four-on-four, three-on-three, two-on-two, five-on-five. It doesn't matter what you're playing. If you're the only person that can score, if you're the only person capable of scoring, then they're going to double you and triple you. So you're going to have to either learn how to beat double teams and triple teams and learn how to – if you're good as you say you are, then you should be able to do, learn how to do that consistently or – you got to play with a team, and, and so they can't do that to you. Just like when I played with T. Mizzle. T. Mizzle gets to the point where they double and triple him, and then he passed me the ball. Guess what? That's cash. If I miss that shot, we're going to lose the game because if, if he can't pass to me and they are able to double and triple him and then nobody else is contributing, guess what? They win. They're going to win the game. That's why you can't play with pure locks this year because if you play with a pure lock and that pure lock cannot shoot, they're going to just do they're going to do what Rat and uh, G. Sykes did to my guy, um, and they're just going to double team, and you're going to be done. Anyway, man, we got to get up out of here, man. The video already been too long, man. Let me know down in the comments if y'all like the video. Like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Look, Zoe Saldana. Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Kravitz. I already know which one Paul taking. But y'all let me know if y'all like this video, man. If y'all like the comment section, we'll try to figure out how to get that down lower and all that. And uh, I'm out of y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Gotta speak!